In Round Top on a Monday afternoon, on a scale of 1 to 100, the serenity is about a 90. But in this tiny town, one place you will find hustle and bustle is Royer's Cafe. They're not open Mondays, but they are busy. It's 8 a.m. this morning. We started boxing. Um, we have about 1,300 pies going out today, so um, we got at it early so that we could um, hopefully get finished before the UPS man gets here. <laughs> This place has been a cafe since the year after World War II, but in 1987, Bud Royer bought it and turned it into something distinctly Bud Royer. It took us about a year and a half to figure out who we were, and by the time we figured out who we were, we then began to own it in our heads and our hearts. When they are open, customers find a colorful world backed up by a big menu. Getting a seat quickly might be as tough as finding Round Top on a map, but it's word of mouth that's built Royers into a Texas institution. Uh, in 25 years, we spent less than $2,000 really in advertising. It's all been building relationships. So I call this my wall of heroes. I just go through these people. This is the dear woman up in Iowa, uh, in, in the Illinois, that I got her, the recipe for the pie dough from. Her granddaughter gave it to me. There's a story behind everything on the wall here. There's a story. It's a pretty special wall. You could do a whole story on the cafe alone, but that's not why we came to Fayette County. It began with a chocolate chip pie sent in December of 2010. Destination, Afghanistan, to an American service member, courtesy of his mom. Next month, Royer gets a picture in his email. And they're sitting in their compound in Afghanistan, and you see the guard towers behind them, and they're all gathered together holding these pies and with the biggest smiles on their face. And I just was moved to tears. I showed it to my wife and I said, Karen, I said, we gotta figure this out. And they figured out Operation Desert Pie. You buy two desserts, Royer ships them to the troops, whether you know them or not. Many people don't have an address or a soldier to send it to, so we send them to battalion commanders, groups of, and they, they distribute them to the soldiers in that they're over. That particularly though, they know those that haven't received much. When the labels note a specific troop, they add that it could go to another person in case the first ones moved on or even passed on. So that's kind of a heart touching area every time we do it. Um, we ship pies once a month and um, we've done anything anywhere from about 150 a shipment to as, um, as little as 20. On behalf of the Marines, I want to thank you for the pies. Letters and tokens from the front line. Most of the Marines are from the Houston area. This flag was flown on behalf of your organization. They're what let Bud Royer know that a little pie goes a long way. It just says how much more we got to do and got to keep doing it. I have a sense of what it means in the fact that it's a, it's a slice of home. It's a slice that somebody's thinking about them and it's like that, that, you know, he, it's, somebody does care. It's the ultimate slice of home is a pie.